Hey, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on, everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? We're back here with some more Crowded House. It's going to be my second time reacting to Crowded House, man. I've seen uh, occasionally some people stop by and say, hey, Crowded House, do some more, man. Check them out some more. So, uh, yeah, they've been a little bit off the radar, man. I'm going to bring them right back with this one called Don't Dream It's Over. Looks like we got an official music video here, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and jump in, see what else we've got going on with Crowded house like i said still just a very unfamiliar name uh to me of a group um yeah when i heard their last song i it still didn't ring a bell um so let's go ahead and jump into this one man don't dream it's over okay don't dream it's over here we go them win the war between us it sounds like to me people trying to come in between their love right so i'm gonna take a deeper look at it but that's kind of the vibes i was getting maybe somebody trying to come between their love trying to uh steer her off track saying you know maybe he's not the one for you maybe 
you got to let this relationship go. He's not good enough. I don't know. So let's take a little bit of a dive. But as far as the musical quality of this song, it's up there, man. It's, it's a great vibe. I could definitely see playing this in the car, playing it beachside, playing it at the condo, something like that. You know, wherever you're, you're at, a vacation song. Yeah, it may not be uh, a happy, upbeat message, but the vibe, it's, it's a vibe of a song is a thing. And there's a lot of songs like that, right? Maybe the lyrics are kind of sad. Uh, kind of bring you down a little bit or make you reflect on a bad situation. But then the rhythm, the music itself is just such a vibe that it may not necessarily make you feel down. Even if the topic is kind of down, it, may, it uplifts you just because the music's that good. That's kind of where I was going with this one, too. The music's just that good that it's kind of uplifting uh, with the music. So looking over the lyrics, it actually, I felt it was a love song. Uh, but looking over the lyrics a little deeper, man, it sounds like it could even be about war, like literally about a separation of areas of the world, of cultures, of people, or it could be love, right? It could be a metaphor. Uh, it's not uncommon for people to use war references as a, as a metaphor for love and the battles you go through in a relationship. It's hard to tell if he's being literal or not, but let's just take a look at some of this stuff. So, you know, there's a battle ahead. Many battles are lost, but you'll never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me. Goes on to say, um, tales of war in, in the paper today, tales of war and waste. But you turn right over to the TV page. Go on down here to the beat of a drum, and I'm counting the steps to the door of your heart. Only shadows ahead, barely clearing the roof. Get to know the feeling of liberation and release. So we've got war. We've got war, we've got waste, we've got like, hey, checking out the TV, uh, you know, where a lot of that media is streamed through. We've got liberation, but of course, we've got the door to your heart, you know, don't dream it, it's over. Um, so yeah, we'll take a little bit of a look. It's just, uh, it could be either way. It could be either way right now. So right here, we've got the, the song was released in 1986, guys. Uh, this is rock and pop. Right here is what this is considered. It says, Don't Dream It's Over is a song by the Australian rock band Crowded House, recorded for, the, for, for their 1986 self-titled debut studio album. Man, this was on their debut album. Really great song on the debut album right here. The song was composed and written by New Zealand frontman Neil Finn and released in October 1986 as the fourth single from the album. So right here, we got uh, Crowded House's lead singer and songwriter Neil Finn has said that the that the Don't Dream It's Over song was inspired by his experiences living in Los Angeles and feeling disconnected from his homeland of New Zealand. The song was written during a time when Finn was struggling with homesickness and a sense of displacement, which inspired him to write a song that expresses the human desire for connection and sense of belonging, man. Long talked about discussion about our human uh, need to feel connected and to feel a part of the pack. Uh, and to feel a sense of belonging as he's saying so he wrote a song kind of based on those needs given his cir current uh, circumstances of being so far away from his home so far away from people that he was familiar with the areas that he was familiar with just this disconnected feeling and a loss of almost like a loss of purpose not really well maybe not purpose but you know what i'm saying it's uh you definitely get demotivated man you get a loss of drive you feel like the urge and the desire to get back to what's familiar so uh, that kind of those emotions drove him to pin down this song right here. The lyrics of Don't Dream It's Over are both poetic and direct, speaking to the heart of what it means to be human. The opening lines, there is a freedom within, there is a freedom without. Try to catch the deluge in the paper cup. Uh, suggest that, the, that despite our limitations, we still have the capacity to find meaning and wonder in the world. The chorus, hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, when the world comes in, they come, they come to build a wall between us. We know they won't win. Embodies an unshakable optimism reminding us that despite the challenges we face, we can persevere as long as we don't give up on our dreams. Man, great song here, dude. Really cool. I, lo I love getting a an idea of what the artist was thinking when they pinned a certain song um, because your mind's going to run wild with whatever you might think it's about. Then you watch a video and it might shift uh, your whole opinion and perception of the song. But when an artist tells you specifically what they thought, to me, it doesn't have to change what you think it means. Uh, but it, it offers clarity on exactly where these lyrics came from, right? Why were they written the way they did? Why were these rhymes put together? When they offer their insights, you might be able to connect the dots on where they were at mentally 
when they wrote that song and i like that i like that part of this you know i like that part of this a lot so uh thank you guys for tuning in here today man really appreciate it if you enjoyed the reaction please let me know by leaving a like subscribe check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel including uh donation requests becoming a member on my patreon or youtube if you so choose all right thank you guys so much for joining me here today see you on the next one okay peace